third down at seven. Pressure coming. Taylor is hit, and he is sacked. Taken down by Yannick Ngakwe, the rookie with his sixth sack of the season. Yannick Ngakwe has been a stud off the edge for the young Jaguars defense. His six sacks leads all rookies this season. Ngakwe has shown great all-around ability this season with an interception and three forced fumbles. He should get plenty of opportunities against a Broncos offense that allow five sacks in week 12. Into the nickel. Blocked by Brown, the left tackle. Osweiler then chase. Bosa! Got him! Just watch the effort by Joey Bosa. This is what you love about him, Ken. He doesn't take plays off. Just check out. He's going to lose his helmet, right? But watch the effort here at the end. He saves a first. That would have been a easy first down for Brock Osweiler. Joey Bosa climbs back into the top 10 with a standout performance against the Texans in Week 12. Seven total tackles, a half sack, and consistently bringing the heat to Brock Osweiler. Four and a half sacks on the year now for the former Buckeye. We'll see if he can get to Jameis Winston in Week 13. Hill goes right to the 20, has a hold of the 25, cuts right to the 30, and a crease at the 40. Hill with speed, down the right sideline to the 40. Hill's going to go to the 20, to the 10. He high-fives his way into the end zone. Tyreek Hill can simply do it all. We saw it in primetime against the Broncos on Sunday night. He's a threat to score from anywhere, as seen by his three touchdowns. Hill became the first rookie since Gale Sayers in 1965 to score a rushing, receiving, and kick return touchdown in a single game. Jalen Ramsey comes in at number seven. He had a tough time against the Bills in week 12, gave up two catches for 74 yards, and missed a tackle on LaShawn McCoy's 75-yard touchdown. But there's no doubt Ramsey has been the team's number one cornerback all year long. He gets another challenge when he faces Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas in week 13. And five-man rush. They move Wentz, and they did not take him to the ground. What an effort by Carson Wentz. And it just shows you how strong the young quarterback is. Carson Wentz drops this week after a loss to the Packers on Monday night. 254 passing yards and an interception. After jumping off to a great start this season, Wentz's production has dropped off in a big way of late. Just six touchdown passes in his last eight games. Second and ten, this is Howard fighting the edge again. Boy, how impressive has this kid been? This kid gives them a chance to have a special offense because he's a special runner. Another solid day for Bears running back Jordan Howard. He just keeps plugging away, and his productivity has been a bright spot for Chicago this season. With just over 100 scrimmage yards per game, the Bears are 0-8 when Howard has less than 23 carries this season. Keanu Neal leads all rookies with 72 total tackles this season. He racked up another six in week 12 against Arizona. It's not just the tackles, though. Neal is a natural ball hawk. He's tied for first in the NFL with four forced fumbles. He lines up across Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey of the Chiefs next week. Play action, and throw to the far sideline. Thomas makes the catch, fights for the pylon, and he is going to be in for the touchdown. Michael Thomas, a great individual effort. Saints wide out Michael Thomas has woken up big time. Huge game for the former Ohio State Buckeye working against the L.A. Rams. Nine catches, 108 yards, and two touchdowns. He's miles ahead of rookie receivers in every major category. 65 catches, 789 yards, and seven touchdowns on the year. He's looking like the top receiver to come out of this class. The ball just inside the two. They want Zeke. They've got him. Touchdown, Dallas. Ezekiel Elliott is on fire, and there's nothing defenses can do to stop it. The Cowboys' offensive line has been rock solid all year long, leading Elliott to another huge performance in Week 12. 120 total yards and two touchdowns. He's two scores shy of breaking the Cowboys' rookie record for rushing touchdowns in a single season. Big look, Faction and I, Elliott the deep back, first to go from the six, play fake, a roll to the right, Prescott tucking and running, he sprints to the end zone, he's in, touchdown! Dak Prescott keeps it rolling, leading Dallas to their 10th straight win, 195 passing yards, 
two total touchdowns in his Thanksgiving Day debut. Prescott faces a top five defense next as the Cowboys travel to Minnesota on Thursday night.